Hey folks, Chad here with Exodus Trail Cameras. Today we're going to talk about how you can properly store away your cameras in the postseason to ensure that you're not only staying organized, but also to increase the life longevity of your cameras. So to do this properly, you are going to need a, a few items. And working from my left to my right, uh, here we have a pile of silica packs. You can buy these on Amazon. I think we got a couple hundred of them for just a few dollars. If you don't have these laying around the house or you don't want to spend the extra money, you can probably just use rice. Um, we've done that in the past, but silica packs are what you're gonna need. The next thing we have is just a standard can of keyboard cleaner or compressed air. We use this to dust the outside of the camera off and then also clean out the SD card socket and the internal battery tray. The next thing we have is a couple SD card cases. So we just need a couple cases to protect our SD cards when we store them away. We always recommend using two cards per standard SD card camera. Wireless cameras are a little bit different, but two cards labeled to a dedicated camera. Um, we're gonna need a micro cloth or terry cloth, something super soft that you'd use on eyeglasses to clean the lens and flash unit. Obviously you're gonna need your camera and then just a roll of paper towels. So to get started, the first, very first thing you guys are gonna wanna do is take your camera, take your keyboard cleaner, and we're just gonna dust the outside of this off. So we're dusting the outside, removing any dirt, debris, anything that might be present on the outside of the camera. If there's something stuck to it, you can go ahead at this time, use your paper towels or your cloth, your rag, whatever you got there, get these cameras cleaned up. Uh, with the exception of your lens, your PIR or your Fresnel lens cover, your image lens cover, and then your flash unit. You're gonna to wanna to use something like a terry cloth, microfiber cloth, something to clean these things up to where you're not scratching them because if you scratch them, it is gonna eventually cause performance issues within your camera. So once we get the outside of the camera clean, the very next thing we're gonna do is remove our battery tray. Take the battery tray out, we're gonna use the keyboard cleaner and we're just gonna spray some compressed air in there, remove any dust, remove any debris, anything that might be lodged or stuck in there. We don't want that stuff sitting in, in the camera for uh, a couple months while they're being stored away. And you can do the same thing with your SD card socket here, uh, DC power port, USB, any of the external connections you have, you can use this compressed air to kind of get those things cleaned up. So while we have the battery tray out, we do want to note that when you're storing your, your cameras away for, you know, the post season for a couple months, um, you never want to store these with batteries in the tray. Uh, so you always want to remove your, remove your batteries and whether you put this tray back in the camera or not, that's kind of up to you. I like to keep them out and I'll show you why here in a second. But once the camera's cleaned up, um, you spread your SD card socket out, you have the other external connections cleaned and your battery tray removed. That's basically it on the maintenance side. If you guys wanna take that a step further, we do have another maintenance video where we talk about how to keep your seals conditioned with some O-ring lubricant, what to do with um, some of your latches and different things, but we'll put that video in the description and you can check that out if you have more time. So to get these things stored away, we like to keep our nice fancy boxes. If you don't have these boxes, that's okay. It's not a big deal. But what we're gonna do is take this camera, we're gonna take one silica pack and we're just gonna slide that in the battery compartment where we would normally put that battery tray. Uh, we're gonna lock that camera up and we're gonna put it inside our box. We're gonna set our battery tray in there and then we're taking our two SD cards which are dedicated and labeled for this camera and we're keeping them in the box with our camera. Before we close the box up, we're taking another silica pack and we're gonna put it in the box. We close the box up and that's it. That's the storage method. Um, that we use here and you can do that with as many cameras as you would like Typically when we go through this we'll set aside a couple hours We'll do 10 20 cameras whatever we're doing here at the office take these cameras and then we're Basically sticking them in a rubber rubber made tote or some type of container to store them longer term So they're just not scattered everywhere around your office around your garage around your home Whatever that looks like for you um, Not only does this help extend the longevity of the camera, but it helps you be more organized so when you come time for mass deployment of these in May or June or July or whenever you get your cameras out, they're in one centralized location. You have all your SD cards in one location. You've already gone through and updated the firmware. You've done all this maintenance and you know that they're ready to go. So hopefully this provides just uh, a little bit of value for you guys. Help you guys stay more organized and become more efficient trail camera users. 
that's our goal here. Whether you're using Exodus cameras, Reconyx, Wild Game, it doesn't matter. We want to help you guys become better trail camera users, better um, educated trail camera users, and ultimately better deer hunters because of it. So if you like the video, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment below, and smash that subscribe button for us.